did that. I already, I already did that. I already did that. I already, I already did that. Believe it. I already did that. I already, I already did that. I already did that. I already, I already did that. It's so easy to feel excluded around the holidays as a vegan, surrounded by family and food that you can enjoy. Today we're making Fly Vegan Holiday Ham. You're gonna need vital wheat gluten, garbanzo bean flour, some seasoning, vegetable base, liquid smoke, beet juice, maple syrup, water, and oil. Mix the ingredients until they form a dough. Knead the dough into the shape you desire. Then wrap it with foil. Place your dough in a steam basket and let it steam for about an hour. And now let's make the glaze. You need some brown sugar, some Dijon mustard, maple syrup, and ground cloves. After cooking for about 30 minutes, Turn the seitan dough so that it cooks all the way through. Score the top of the seitan and add the glaze. I decorated the top of the seitan with cloves. Place it in the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes. ready to enjoy your fly vegan holiday ham. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.
Welcome back. Okay, guys, let's make some baked fly vegan mac and cheese. We're going to start by preparing our pasta. In a blender, add some tofu, onion, bell pepper, cashew milk, flour, sour cream, Cajun seasoning, vegan cheese, and vegetable base. I'm going to blend this for about three minutes. If you don't have a high power blender, heat it on the stove for about five minutes until it's hot. After you drain your pasta, pour the warm cheese into a bowl with the pasta and mix it. Place the pasta in a dish to bake. Bake it at 400 for about 30 minutes. This is one recipe I know you will enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching. Welcome back, Fly Vegan fam. Today we're cooking up a Fly Vegan Pot Roast. I'm going to start by adding some vegan butter to the pan. Now I'm going to throw in some onion and minced garlic. I'm going to saute this for about five minutes. Now I'm going to add some A1 sauce, some better than bouillon, some Worcestershire sauce, and then mix it. Now I'm going to add in a can of jackfruit, rinsed and drained jackfruit. Put in a combination of seasoning. Then I stir it up. I added some cornstarch with water and I'm just going to pour that in. Mix this up and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Now I'm going to take a casserole dish and add some red potatoes, carrots, some celery, and mushroom. I'll just make sure these are spread out evenly. Now you just have to add the jackfruit mixture. Now I'm going to put this in the oven on 350 for one and a half hours. Voila, vegan pot roast. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome back, Fly Vegans. Today we're making 
candied sweet potatoes, and sweet potato pie. For this first recipe, we're going to start by peeling the sweet potatoes. Okay, now we're going to slice these about a quarter inch thick. Yes! Slice those things up. Place the sweet potatoes in a casserole dish. Now I'm going to make the candied sauce. Start by melting some vegan butter. Now add some sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. I'm going to mix this up for about five minutes until the sugar starts to melt with the butter. Then I'm going to add some coconut milk, let it cook for about five more minutes. Well, it's going to turn out like this and now I'm going to add it to the sweet potatoes. Pour in the sauce and mix the sweet potatoes around. Make sure they are all covered with the sauce. So I throw a few pecans right on top. This stuff is optional, but I like it like this, so. I'm gonna take these sweet potatoes, cover them, and put them in the oven for two hours at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, no less than two hours. So now they're done and as you can see they are really tender and caramelized. This is the key to fly vegan sweet potatoes. Okay guys that's it. Next up sweet potato pie. Okay first you have to wash the potatoes and then we're going to put them on a baking sheet and we're going to roast these babies for three hours depending on the size of the potatoes you may have to roast them longer so to make sure your sweet potatoes are done the bottom has to be almost black that's the key to the flavor of my sweet potato pie I let my potatoes cook until they caramelize slice the potatoes open and remove the potato on the inside from the skin Okay, you got it? Got it. Next step, 
you need the fat of a can of coconut milk. Add vanilla extract and lemon extract. Add some cinnamon, vegan butter, some sugar. So I just grab a fork and go to work. Just mix it until it's smooth. You can put this in a mixer like a kitchen egg. But do not put this in a blender and make sweet potato glue. Okay, I just added some cornstarch. Now I'm gonna just mix that in. I'm gonna put the pie filling into a pre-made crust that I've already baked for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna smooth this out to make it as smooth as I possibly can. Place this in the oven on 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. I want to just thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe.
Welcome back. Today we're making fly vegan peach cobbler. We're going to start by adding frozen peaches to a pan. Then we'll add some organic sugar, nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla. Then add cornstarch to one cup of water, mix it, and then add the mixture to the peaches. Add another cup of water, cook the peaches down for 15 minutes until the sauce gets thick. For the crust, we're going to need sugar, flour, baking powder, salt, and almond milk. Now I'm going to mix it into a smooth batter. Transfer the batter into a casserole dish. Now add some vegan butter. Mix the butter into the batter and now you're ready to add your peaches. Pour your hot peaches over your batter. Now we'll place these in the oven for 45 minutes. It should cook at 375. If you're already a part of the Fly Vegan family, thank you for your support. But maybe you're not already. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Don't forget to subscribe. Today we're cooking up some smashed potatoes and gravy, so stay tuned. To start, I cube some red potatoes and I just boil these potatoes for 25 minutes until they are tender. While the potatoes are cooking, I add some oil to a pan, throw in some onion, some garlic, and I'll saute them for 10 minutes until they're brown. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Now you can add your seasoning. You need salt, black pepper, and thyme. Add in some flour, mix it, Now you can add in some sherry. Let this cook for 12 minutes until the wine reduces and the sauce will start to thicken. After the sauce thickens, you can add some coconut milk. Stir in some mushroom. Now we can finish the potatoes. Drain the water from the potatoes, then give them a rough mash. Add a bouillon cube and some seasoning. Make sure the seasoning is mixed through your potatoes. Add in some vegan milk. Now mix it, 
mix it, mix it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe! Welcome back! Today we're making a pumpkin cobbler. You're going to need some all-purpose flour, sea salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, baking powder, Now I'm just going to mix the dry ingredients together. In another bowl I add canned pumpkin, vegan butter, sugar, coconut milk, and vanilla. Add a cup of the pumpkin mixture to the dry mixture. Place the rest of the pumpkin mixture into a casserole dish. Spread it evenly. Now top it with the flour mixture. Yours might be a little looser than this. I made mine to dry. I'm going to bring some apple juice to a boil. To the top of the cobbler, I'm going to add some walnuts, or you can add pecans if you like, some brown sugar, and some cinnamon. Pour the hot apple juice over the top. Place the cobbler into the oven on 350 degrees for 50 minutes. And I top it with some almond whipped cream. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe! Welcome back, Fly Vegan family. Today we're making 
Mushroom Wellington. I'm going to start with a hot pan and some olive oil. Throw in some onion. Saute the onion. Add some salt and pepper. Turn the onion on low heat and let them caramelize for 25 minutes. Give this video a thumbs up so you don't forget. Yes, Fly Bacon, you did that. We're going to add some mushroom, some spinach, a vegetable bouillon cube, Worcestershire sauce, and thyme. Cook this down for about five minutes. Now remove all of the vegetables. Make sure you pour all of the liquid back into the pan. Let the music take your mind. Just releasing you will find. You're gonna fly away. Glad you're going my way. I love you when we're cruising together. Now I'm adding a dry stuffing mix with a little bit of water then I let the breadcrumbs absorb the liquid. Place your stuffing on a puff pastry sheet. Add the vegetable mixture. Now wrap it, flip it, and tuck the sides. Score the pastry with the back of a knife. Place it in the oven for 30 minutes on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome back, Fly Vegans. So glad to be sharing with you this week. Today we're making a fly vegan corn pudding. Let's get to it. In a bowl, I'm going to add some melted vegan butter, flaxseed meal, some seasoning, some warm cashew milk, cornstarch, vegan cheese, and vegan sour cream. Now I'm going to mix this until it's smooth. Then I'll add a box of vegetarian Jiffy cornbread mix and some frozen corn. Now I mix the batter until it's smooth again. Then I'll add the batter to a hot oiled pan. 
Now I'll place this in the oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 minutes. Yes, honey, yes! And that's it, bye vegans. Enjoy your corn pudding. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and don't forget to subscribe!